Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. And unlike my last one, this isn't going to be completely different. This is probably the same thing you'd probably watch from my channel <laughs> several different times. But this is just more of a all-in-one scenario. So what's going to happen is I'm going to um, go through each and di each different trailer that's been released. Because today's the time of recording is November 3rd. And tomorrow is the release date for Apex Se Apex no, Apex Season Apex Legends Season Seven, which I am very much looking forward to. So I'm going to do all the trailers. I'm going to do patch notes and just general reactions, all that other stuff. So look forward to that during this video. We've got a lot of stuff to do, and let's get to it. And here we go. This is I know this is like the <laughs> I have been late to this. This is the first trailer that they have released. Um, so I'm intrigued <laughs> to finally watch it. Personally. Um. So yeah, I I'm gonna quickly just turn up my volume so I can hear it. But how about we get into this? All right, dear. All right, dearie. She's Scottish. And she's not a dwarf. Heresy. <laughs> was in a terrible state. Sorry, fancy joke. And they needed a hero to save it. Ooh, Someone brave and true to her word. When this hero said she'd save us all, you knew she'd find a way to do it. She'll find a way to do it, lassie. It without sacrifice. Ooh, is that a new robot friend? Her I like robot friends. Had someone very special in her life. Someone she loved more than anything. Aww. And all she wanted was a kid. Is that a doggy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I know it's the child. You but children. just when it felt like the Ew. world was against her, and her sacrifices were all for naught, hope emerged. And there was Hope. just one more thing to do. What, to get it, maybe? The hero must travel to far away the lands to find the of time and space. But first, uh, oh, that's probably promise. the wise promise. I'll they promised that it should return. And we'll be together soon. Yeah. You promise? You promise? Hi, my love. I wonder if he's related to anyone scared. in the games. This special person. I wonder. Leave. She gave her word. She I the by the look of her and, and oh, let's, see, let's hear what she sounds like. I have a feeling. Feely feely feeling that she may be a character These that we know. Of. Are deep, dark. Well, I'm gonna have to listen to this, aren't I? But as any hero knows, if there's no risk, no journey into the unknown. If there's no risk, there's no reward, the lassie. And with the crystals in hand, and the certainty of a promise kept, yeah, we got fear it. Washed away. Brandium transfer complete. There we go. There you have it. So she saved the Outland, but apparently, end, well, I don't give a shit. They lived happily ever after. Oh, that's what Sorry, it's dearie. That's Ash. It's gotta be. Without the mechanical essence of what makes Ash voice. So the bare essential. I swear it's Ash, man. That's gotta be. But that's pretty. It's so pretty. Look at it. Why can't we live in a black hole? <laughs> so pointy. The absence of light. And just how is it? They lived happily ever after I hear Simulation you successful. Because I'm surprised I could survive being so close to a black hole. Not get sucked in. Story. Maybe it's like a special kind of strip. Damn. 87 years later. She goes back to the old apartment. 
Of course, we just saw her son in a funeral home. That was my sadness. <laughs> my, my sad cry. It's just a matter of time. Apex Legends. Stories from the outlet. Yeah, it's coming November 4th. As I said, it is coming relatively soon. So let's get rid of this. We've now avoided this. And on to our next trailer. The Ascension Launch Trailer. So I'm going to beef up my audio again. It was a little bit hard to listen to, but it's deal. Um... Well, I'm excited for this, because they, they this usually is like this, I don't know, this is usually quite cool to look at. It's got big gameplay, got a bit of a uh, store. no wait, hold on. Oh no, the launch trailer is just pure thing. Pure cinematic. So how about we get into this then? Oh, man. oh our boy Mirage, nice. he's gonna die, isn't he? Oh, come on, dude, you're always crowded. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks to you, all my crap's on that ship. Yep. Oh yeah, shit. <laughs> okay, uh, new plan. Follow the rocket. Follow the rocket. Do you? Do you? I thought. Oh, oh of course. I know how to fly. Hi, friends. <laughs> A legend that can never die. Bloody hell. Can you track the jump signature? I can. Go me. <laughs> Go me. Ready for this? Am I ready? <laughs> uh, ready for what? <laughs> Love it. Genuinely, such a good game. The story's so good uh, hey. and so consistent. Drop me off at the Lido deck. I'm late for my massage. Olympus. What is that? Maybe it's the welcome committee. <laughs> the welcome committee. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that like, um, all these new players come to Apex and then the servers or something <laughs> they're about to explode. Oh, oh damn. Hi Pathfinder, you find... you found a what now? <laughs> Yeah, they kind of might need a weapon. So, is this like a. Well, I presume because I've heard it through like, people. This, this is an actual vehicle. Which I'm intrigued about. I wonder what the, the the how it feels, how it plays. Is it anything like the, the Master Chief what, um, collection of how you control the vehicle? Ah, oh, Horizon. Hey there. Yes, let's let's just do that. The rampart. Hello. Wait, does that mean that we can like take the vehicles? <laughs> you can never knock an octane from a fight. Awesome. Absolutely amazing trailer so far. <laughs> Newt! It's good. 11.04.20. Technically. If I remember correctly from a shrug tool, a person on Twitter, this, if you're in the UK, it's technically coming out on the, uh, oh, just ignore, just ignore that. Oh, shit. <laughs> ignore MXR. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Yeah, if you know MXR players channel, you know it's just, <laughs> it's just, just something. <laughs> How weird it is. Anyway. <laughs> Going so well. Um, yeah, that was a really cool trailer, actually. Really fucking cool. 
So how about we get into the next one? This is the gameplay trailer, which I'm intrigued if we can find out A, the map layout. Uh, B, we need to see like the, the Horizon play, how she's like. And C, the vehicle. Kind of intrigued about that. So how about we get into this? Play with the laws of physics, shall we? Yes, yes, let's play with physics. Physica. Oh, damn. That's a nice Kraber shot. Fuck you, Kraber wankers. Ugh. I hate Krabs, man. Olympus. This gravity defying utopia was my home. It was your home, yeah, lassie. I'm, I'm really offending every Scottish person, and I'm British. And so, you know, I'm already offending them. It's a cool last map. It was worth the wait, solve. I think. But you know the thing about Sorry, friend. Sometimes she can be a wee that, oh, that's a new Pathfinder skin that I think may just be like a rare or something. Nothing. Oh, oh, we've got um, Octane and R99 oh, is probably the bow pass game, the, the level 110. Clubs? Oh, yes. I remember they were talking about that at some point. I did this. That was a cool ass thing. That can only be done on PC, I presume. Unless you're a high school controller. <laughs> Finally, the, the sniper shotgun is finally used, being, being used as it should be. Oh, oh can I disable it? Can I? Oh. Okay. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I made a promise. Let's see a finisher, as it usually does. That's a cool ass finisher. <laughs> Get sucked into the black hole. So yes, um fuck you, man. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Um but yeah, this is the final trailer, the character trailer. So we're gonna explain her abilities, her passive, her like I said, ability, her now ultimate. I'm intrigued to see what they do with her... her passive. I can't... S they haven't revealed anything for it. I don't know. I'm certainly intrigued. Let's see. Once thought lost into the abyss of space, Dr. Mary Summers has returned to become the legend of Olympus. Horizon. Oh shit, oh. It's not even like an escape the event oh, horizon. <laughs> you think you'll escape me? A master of gravitational fields, her abilities bring an entirely new dimension to the games. Come on, little Newty. We've got work to do. Her repulsion star creates okay. a powerful gravity lift. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, we know that. The gravity lift. Propelling legends upward and boosting them on... Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to do something a little bit different for this trailer because we do have to, like, stop it and read it. So the tactical gravity lift. Repulsion star reverses the flow of gravity, lifting players upwards and boosting them outwards when they exit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Can it, like, um, can it disable, from what we saw in the trailer, it seemed like it could disable uh, the gameplay trailer, anyway. Uh, the vehicles, I'm intrigued about that. We'll see. Beauty. Propelling legends upward and boosting them on exit, allowing squads to gain the advantageous high ground. And away we go! Um, or you can have here a we go. Fun with your enemies. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a little bit equipment? difficult to. Uh, oh, that that might. Oh, maybe this will be the her first OP character at launch. Allows her to maneuver in midair and protects her on impact. Oh, nice that's subject. very nice. Let's do this. 
but there is no greater ally than that's actually you. really nice especially with the jump pad perfected in the depths of space singularity deployed new creates a micro black hole and when you're trying to Perfect escape or something they've got a, they've got like a few seconds oh this oh, 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 oh. but there is no great oh, on nah. i'm gonna stop it right here no oh, tits i don't anything like nice. that uh there we go just smashing my uh space uh space bar um, spacewalk increases air control and reduce fall impact with Horizon's custom spacesuit. Awesome. Now let's get over to here. Alter the black hole. Deploy Newt to create a micro black hole that pulls players towards it. Yeah, this could be a game changer. This could be in this could be an actual game meta change. All right. With Loba, I didn't think they could be. It could be a complete meta change. Rampart. You're staying still for too, way too long. This, you're moving around. I can see it happening. I think people could get creative with this. I think they could get really creative. Oh, hold on. Let me just quickly have a look down there. Oh, yeah. And if you're interested, I think, uh, <laughs> about what proper gameplay looks like, I think there's like loads of people who's, who's done videos about it now. Um, one of them is the Game Merchant. Please go over and uh, hit him up if you haven't already. How about we get a look into this then? So yeah. This could... They could nerf this within like the first season or something. Because I could see this being a complete game changer. Alright, we've seen the trailers now. And a lot, obviously we went through it like... Like that sort of thing. Mainly because... Through like um, the trailers, you can't get much. You don't get inf much information apart from these in-depth uh, character reveal trailers, of course. And um, that's the only way I can get through it. So the gameplay trailer, we saw the map of Olympus. We saw there was a new car. It's basically saying what's coming into this season. We we but they don't explain it as much as maybe the patch notes will, as you can tell. I have also got the patch notes. <laughs> So, Season 7, New Legend Horizon. I'm going to read all of this. Um, meet Horizon. She's the newest legend and brilliant scientist and a master of gravity manipulation. She has a deep connection to the new uh, arena, that's her home, and a motivation that will target your heartstrings. Um, if, if you like kids. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> um, Horizon's custom space suit allows her to fall from great heights and control her movements in the air. As they explained in the game, in in, in the uh, character trailer, using her custom net technology, she uses gravity lifts to give her a vertical boost. That's her ability, and she can even deploy Newt, uh, her small robot named after her son, Newton. Really? Really? You named your son after a fame? Isn't it? F isn't Newt uh, Newton? A measure of something science. I did. I. I don't think I passed science that well. I got D's. I got double D's for science. <laughs> so f please forgive me if you're, if you know anything more <laughs> than the basic simples of science. Um. Yeah, but it's just a bad name for your son Newton. To drop a micro black hole that pulls opponents into the center for some serious crowd control. Wait, 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 wait. Actually, actually, actually. Sorry, I'm. I've got the space. I've got a bit of a bubble right here. Do you think we'll eventually not meet the um, the sun because we know they're dead, but maybe we'll learn something about the maybe the sun's life, maybe we'll get a bit of story about that, and maybe we'll get a little bit of story about um, whoever the father was. Maybe that's someone we might know. Maybe maybe it's Revenant. Maybe I don't know. Maybe Revenant likes to fuck. <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, to drop a micro black hole that pulls opponents into the center for some serious crowd control. Passive, spacewalk, yeah, yeah, yeah we, we went through this. The new map, Olympus. Look at that, look at that booty. Look, it look beautiful. <laughs> it's a big ring around it. No surprise there. The Legends has entered a new arena, the sky city of Olympus. A utopia floating in the clouds above Samathi. 
It's not really, uh, you know, utopia if it's all been destroyed. <laughs> it was once a place where the brightest minds in the outlands can gather and exchange ideas. However, an accident in an experimental research facility led to the creation of the phase rift. A massive bubble... Wait, does this mean we get more... Info... More... About Wraith, perhaps? Maybe about how powers are, are used? No idea. And the city was abandoned. Now, players can use Olympus Luxor Lux Luxurious am amenities to their advantage. Rotating agriculture... Agricultural towers, beautiful gardens, and classy restaurants serve as a new stage for intense, intense skirmishes. Fuck me! <laughs> Can't fucking read, apparently. New vehicles called Tridents give you give your squad a way to boost into a battle and take your enemies by surprise. The Phase Runner, a tunnel of phase energy running through the center of Olympus, lets you cross the map in seconds. All right. All right. I bet if it's anything like um, the one in oh, the first original map, but it's for a special event, for Wraith, the Voidwalker event, but you know that place. Um, if it's anything like that, that'd be kind of cool. Maybe because you've also got the risk of maybe the enemies on the other side of that. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Um... Let's you cross the map in seconds, and the rift stands tall over everything, and mysterious and beckoning. Ew, we're going to get some, like, lore about it or something. New vehicle, the Trident. Okay, exclusive to Olympus. Oh, okay, we won't get into, like, other maps then. The Trident is a hover car designed for your whole squad. Cruise the highways to avoid choke points, or use the boosts to soar over jumps. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Can we get, like, an LTM now, actually? If Now I've got a new idea. Can we have, like, a race mode? That'd be kind of cool. That'd be really kind of cool. Drive in third person, or ride as a passenger in first person, with full shooting capabilities. The trident is durable, so it will never explode, but damage applied from the enemy fire will be dispersed among the players in the car. Don't worry, you can still do full damage to players by hitting them directly. So we expect to see some amazing Kraber shots. Disembark to park it anywhere and use it as a makeshift cover in late game. Alright, they've told us two two things that we can do with it. Cover, or we can do damage as we go. I presume, because we're in a moving vehicle, it's going to be incredibly hard to hit a person unless you're using energy rounds. Because it's like a um, hit detection. Or even, um, what's it called? The laser beam. <laughs> Uh, the charge rifle. <laughs> I could see that, like... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the Trident interacts with legend abilities in many different ways. Experiment and have fun. As we saw in the trailer, we saw... Um, the likes of Gibby and his shield. We saw... The turret being placed on it. And we saw the gas, of course. Oh, Jesus, that'd be terrifying. Just moving gas or something. <laughs> du -du 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 -du. Gas Daddy's vehicle. Oh, my God. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. LTM, Olympus pre Preview. All right, yeah, this is this is probably a very good LTM. To help you understand and explore the map without fear of getting shot, we are introducing a new playlist called Olympus Preview. This mode teams you up in th with 30 legends on Olympus and allows you to run the map to learn the map uh, to learn... Hold on. To roam the map, to learn map drops, loot areas, and practice your routes to end game. Circles are still on, and once circles for finishes, sorry, circles are still on, and circle. Once circle for finishes, oh, players are brought back to the plane to start the second. Right, it's basically just meaning like the final circle is when you just gotta go for like it's three runs basically. It's like a normal game, but you can't kill anyone. You just have to explore and pick up stuff. I don't think you can do any damage whatsoever. I think you can pick, still pick up guns and just learning like crucial loot places like um, uh, good loot areas, um, maybe high drops and all that other stuff. This mode is only available for one week. I thought about they could do this, but I was always thought that maybe it would be like one person a thing. So instead of creating this one server for like Hundreds of them. Maybe implement it to the game where it's like 
just one thing they can do on their own. So they can explore the map. But I don't know. I personally think maybe they could do it. I don't know. But probably they're just doing it by... Just doing it by... Uh, like, they, like they said, they're going to do it with LTM for each new map. Clubs are now being introduced. Uh, yeah, you got you. We know what we know what clubs are. With this season, we're introducing clubs. I join a club like Minded Legends and make it easier to find your champion squad. Don't see a particular club you like, then create one and let your friends know to join. Read more clubs on here. So if it's anything like Time for Two, it means you got like a special hour uh, where you get gain more XP and over time, yeah, the idea, idea, you get the idea. Steam. <laughs> what can I say? You get three extra charms. Boot up Steam and start downloading and playing Egg Pits Legends. If you're coming from Origin, all your progress and unlocks will carry over. Never a limited time, log into Steam and receive these Half-Life Portal charms. I like this, I like this. Eh. I'm not a big fan of Half-Life personally. But these two are brilliant! Yeah. I'll, I'll download it personally, and then, because then I've got it at least. The Battle Pass. I'll look into, more into that when it actually comes out. Personally, this is about seven battle passes, all about high fashion. I'll level up your pass or unlock the skins like Wraith, high class, and Octane's fast fashion. Ew. So they're, they're going to be like already inside of it. Um, so they're going to change this year's battle pass, apparently. Um, so challenges are no longer points based and now generated between one to five. So, oh no, not like they did in the first season. Oh no, I don't like this. Alright, we're going to keep an eye on this. Because I don't really like this. Alright, like the Evo Shields, I can see this being kind of a kickback. Alright, let's see. Let's see what... Mm, uh, I don't like this change. Challenge is no longer point, but uh, one to five stars. Depending on their difficulty, to collect ten stars would take you to the next battle bat bat pass level. We also added tabs to... So, do we have, like... So is it easier? Do we get like easier challenges or something? I don't know. It's very strange. We get easier challenges, but there be a lot more of them. Uh, we've also added tabs to the challenge menus in the lobby that allow you to toggle between daily, to top, weekly, and events challenges. Awesome. Yeah, well, that's that's a good thing. That's a good uh, change to the made. With the match, players can open the map and see. Yeah, this is basically what I wanted. That's what quality of life. Love it. Attachment swap improves. Um, um, sorry, attachment swap um, improvements. When replacing attachment with one from the ground, if the old attachment is an improvement for you for your other weapon, the old attachment will get automatically transferred. Awesome. Replicator. So this is the crafting uh, stuff uh, for season seven. We removed weapons from the crafting pool and replaced them with shield batteries. The high level attachments will still be tailored towards a weapon category. Excellent. 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 We will now prevent other players from picking up items that you crafted. Yes! You trolls can go fuck yourselves with that! <laughs> this can be disabled by pinging the item. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not letting anyone take my shit. Airdrop clarity. The colours of the beams have changed to differentiate between normal airdrops, lifelines airdrops, and the replicator airdrops. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Normal drops are light tan. Lifeline drops are Blue and replicator drops are teal. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I like it. All of the airdrops landing, air, uh, landing area effects. Well, it's coming down. So this is, again, all of these is a improvements on life improvements, basically. We'll play the game. I should have mentioned that. All the airdrops landing area effects, well, it's coming down, matches their colours. Okay. Uh, airdrop beams still stay visible when close to the airdrop. Instead of fading, when you get close, the beam still disappears when the pod is open. Awesome. Yep, I like it. Miscellaneous. Uh, the arc star uh, shows an arc star model when it, one is thrown next to you instead of a grenade. That's better. Add a new voice, voiceover line where you st you were using a phoenix kit. Alright. A new voiceover line when you drop a high spray. Awesome. You can now ping ammo in your inventory to request more from your squad. You could basically do that already, but sure. Made modification to the ring to reduce the amount of unplayable um, spaces in the circle. Okay. I like it. Map rotations. Regular map rotation for two weeks Olympus will be the only map you play on, as we already know. 
After that, we'll go into normal map, map rotation of Olympus and World's Edge, and of course, King Canyon will be lost for the time being. Season 7 Ranked Rotation. The first half of Ranked Split will be played on Olympus. The second half of Ranked will be played on World's Edge. For more information on this season's Ranked updates, check out the Ranked blogs here. So, already, um, we, we know that Olympus will be already two weeks continuous uh, Olympus. Then it will be Olympus and World's Edge. And bye-bye to King Tendon. Rank rotation, if you're interested, it's rank split on Olympus to start off. And then it'll be on World's Edge. So, the more important part. The Legend Meta. Right. Bangalore. Right, she needed a bit of an update. Rolling Thunder reduced the time for ex um, for explosion from 8 seconds to 6 seconds. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. This needed to be done. This, and I, uh, let's see what they say about it. That's what I'm intrigued. Not much to say here. Rolling Thunder will continue to be functioned as Prime Minister's zoning ability. Spot on. No matter what anyone says, this needs to be used as a zoning ability. Not like a Gibraltar's bombardment where it's used as a offensive ultimate ability. This is a zoning ability where they can scare off people into a different area where you can force them into a tight gap. That is what the Bangalore Ultimate is used for. But with what somewhat of a sort of fuse, it encourages enemies to leave the zone slightly faster. Right, Caustic. Right, I know they were talked about, I think, in the last patch notes. They, they tried something new. And I'm just intrigued to see what they say on it. Non-gas trap, non-gas grenade legends no longer get a bl Oh, Nox, sorry, I thought I said non, sorry. Nox gas traps and Nox gas grenades, so is whatever his um, t uh, tactical and ultimate ability is. Um, Legend no longer get a blurred vision while affecting the gas. Well, this doesn't seem that much of a thing, personally. Damage updated from 4 to 10 ticks damage. Oh, it's a little bit less of damage. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, it's a bit more, sorry. I lie. All right. I don't like that. <laughs> He's a bit of a pain in the ass already to, to fight him, but sure. Um, fight, uh, Death Note, fighting Corset Gas is one of the most frustrating things in Apex Legends, and yet we need the gas to resent a meaningful threat, or else enemies will just ignore it. With this change, we're attacking what we think is the greatest contribution to this frustration, the fact that your vision is blurred while you're in the gas. This made it extremely hard to fight back to make up for lost power. We're up in the damage from the... Uh, from the gas a bit. Okay, okay. So, they still want to buff Corsic for the time being, which I like. Mirage. Ah. Ah, ha, ha, ha. This is interesting. Um, psych out life, um, basically his decoys whenever he uses his ultimate or his tactical ability. Now have health. Okay. This could be... I know this, this the nuclear option for them, they said, that was going to be if the thing shoots blanks. That is the nuclear option they will only do if they feel they, they can't think of anything else. The dev note says, Our bamboos, bamboozler, <laughs> b -b -b bamboozler in chief is a hard legend to keep relevant. Yes, exactly. You have to change it every single fucking time. Every time we make changes to decoy, there is a clear uptick in usage and power as Mirage Mains learn to use their new tools. And then as the rest of the world, as the rest of the world catches on and starts being able to sell the real mirage, mirages from his equally handsome holographs, that uptick disappears. This time around, we want to make it out a little bit harder for to clear out decoys. We're giving them health, but to make this very uh, clear up front, they will not work as a shield. Excellent. So bullets can go through them and still hit me, for example. So you can't, like, just put a sh one of them in front of me and it, like, stops damage. No, it just go through you and just still hit you. Which I like. I like a lot. Um, yeah, so we're giving them health, but to make this very... They will not work as a shield. While they take damage from bullets, the bullets will also pass through them, as I said. And hit whatever's behind them. This is what we call the hallway test. You should not be able to win an engagement against an enemy in a straight, coverless, ha um, coverless hallway by snap as 
snap casting a decoy and having a said decoy eat an entire wingman shot. Decoys will also play a unique hit effect and briefly flicker out of existence when taking damage. Awesome. Um, to help you differentiate between them and the real Mirage. Alright, cool, 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 cool. You've got to be this, I think, could work for Mirage. Um, decoys will also, yeah, as I said, I, I don't know what to say about it. It's This could work. I don't know if I, 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 I thought the Season 5 Mirage reboot, basically, the, um, was, was going to help him a lot, but I think we kind of realised something that maybe, just maybe, it might not what we want. We've just learned to deal with it. So this is going to be a di this Mirage is a difficult character to even like manage because we're all going to have to go in our head going, well, you know, <laughs> we know it's them. They're not shooting us. But if we hit him and it still gets like numbers or something, that 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 I can see happening. Okay, Octane, uh, his passive Swift Mend. Doubling healing rate from 0 0.5 to 1 health a second. Octanes are going to get more annoying. No! <laughs> Octane is a legend for players who like to go fast, run face first into the enemy and get knocked down a lot. We think that's absolutely fine. It's not fine, by the way. It's not fine. Uh, because you usually get down and you, you just... Just quit the game at that point. <laughs> Welcome to a Noctane life. The fact that is the trio's win rate isn't great and doesn't really bother us because both his encounter win rate, uh, think of this as his ability to score knockdowns, and his pick rate are very healthy. That because he's a fun legend to play. No matter what, he's, he's a fun legend to play. That said, we figured out figured we could give him a little extra out, he, extra out of combat help. His passive heal rate was very slow, requiring up to two hundred seconds to fully. Uh, heal your health bar, so it's now only going to take a hundred seconds to fully heal up. Um, Watson, is this a up? Is this a buff or a nerf? Perimeter of security, increased damage per touch. To yeah, this could help. In I don't think it could really help for the you know. The, the ranked areas, maybe if you're in like uh, just normal public lobbies, then yeah. Yeah, I can see this helping. Watson is the anti-octane, not super powerful, not picked up very often at all. Uh, but an absolutely must for having competitive squads, as they said. We're also happy that we're, uh, we're also happy with that niche, but figured it would be safe to give her a little extra power in her best case. People running into offences, we're aiming for this just to bring up her power and track us at lower levels, as they said. As I said, sorry. Um, since we don't see a lot of players running into Watson fences in high skilled matches, I don't think many people would. Loba, this I this is probably I don't know what to do to Loba. Uh, ammo taken no longer counts. Woo! This need to be done. This actually really needed to be done. So ammo take um, taken no longer counts towards black market maximum. You can scoop up all the ammo in range. Oh. I don't like this. <laughs> That's not good. Because literally, a, a one enemy can literally go, right, we're going to put down of this, we're going to grab all the ammo, we're going to put it in this one corner or something, we're going to hide the ammo, and it's all going to be used for us. No. There needs to be a certain amount of ammo they can pick up. Yeah. I don't think this is going to work. We're taking another swing at ma uh, making Loba the ultimate legend to bring to solve all of your team's loot needs. We have heard you hear feedback that you want improvements to a tactical as well. And while that's certainly not off the table, it should be on the table. It should be the one of the first things on the table because Pathfinder does a better thing than her than her um, tactical. So basically, I agree with taking it off and trying to make it, um, taking it for a long time. But as soon as it... Uh, as soon as you spawn or something, I don't think you need to have the animation of putting it back on. No, I'm just, the mic just... I, yeah, I'm going to give up now. Um, but yeah, our data suggested her encounter rate, uh, win rate, how many knockdowns she she gets compared to how many uh, times she knocks down all across um, 
all matches is quite healthy. It's a trio win rate that's worryingly low. Make no mistake, this is a major swing um, at making black market powerful. Okay. I don't think black market needs to be powerful. I think black market is useful. I think a, da a tactical and possibly her passive needs to be improved. I don't think her ultimate needs to. Sheila and Rampart. I'm going to combine them both because they are two different characters. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so Sheila now takes 1.25 seconds to fully spin up from two seconds. Yeah, that's that, that's good. That's that's relatively good. Antwall now takes three seconds to fully build from four seconds. Can we reduce that to two seconds? I think it the Antwalls needs to take a bit quicker than just three seconds. Because when I put one down... Suddenly there's going to be a sniper who goes, I got you, bro. Destroys your fucking amp wall. It needs to take, of course I understand it when it's taking like a couple of seconds, but still, come on. In patch 6.1, um, we made a small change to how long it takes Sheila to tighten her bullet spread. This did, didn't did meaningfully increase her win rate on the other half of that ship. The other half of that change in this is in this patch. We do not want to change Rampart away from being a legend that requires a setup. Agreed, but we do not want to make it faster to. S we don't. What do you mean you don't want to make it faster to set up? It should. What? I think some of them. Yes, I think. Right. When you're setting up Sheila, I think it should be like a little bit longer to set to set it up. But amped wall should be about two seconds. Personally. So maybe like setting up the turret takes three seconds and the amp turret like the amp turret, the amp wall two seconds. That's personally what I think. Um but let's see what they say about this again. Amp wall should remain a mostly out of combat setup ability rather than a reactive ability. Disagree slightly, and Sheila should remain a aerial denial tool. Agreed. Certainly agree. This isn't used for, like, offensive. This should be aerial denial, rather than a murder machine. But like all things, these, balances point, um, these balance points exist on a spectrum, and with this patch, we're moving them slightly closer to the reactive slash murder machine territory. I disagree, but sure, Pathfinder, just increase... They're just... Um... Hitbox has been improved. Nothing fun about that. Oh, the grappling hook. We need the numbers of grappling hook in 6.1. Um, Pathfinder no longer needs to be on the ground for grappling hook to be re considered finishing. Cool, 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 cool. I like that. The speed to which Pathfinder needs to, to drop for us to consider grappling hook finished when it was increased from 300 units slash seconds to 500 units slash seconds. What? I don't care about that. Um, I'm... So the weapon meta. So that's all the changes to the characters. Uh, Bangalore needed it. Caustic possibly not needed it. Mirage certainly needed it. Octane can fuck off for all I care. Watson was... This is a good thing because it's, uh, it's not just for competitive. I like it. This... I'm worried about. I'm worried about Loba. I think she's going to get him certainly a pick rate increase. Rampart. I'll see what he can do. Um, and then, yeah. This. Yeah. Take it or leave it. Weapon meta. Supply drop. R99 alpha supply drop. Hey, he's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this you take it out? Fine, what's replacing it then? Damage 12 to 11? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know the ammo. We already know the ammo. Prowler. The Prowler? You putting the fucking Prowler in there? What? The fucking Prowler? Not the devotion. No, 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 no. The Prowler. Okay. 
Um, despite the select fire hop up being removed from the loot pool, oh, so they're also removing the select fire. Okay, the prowler will still have the ability to change between five round bursts and four auto. I'm guessing it also um, increased damage, I presume. Or is that just the mag size? They haven't said much about what they've done to it, which is fairly annoying. Fully kitted weapons, uh, that's the old, so the Devotion, Mastiff, Triple Take, Fightline, and Vault. New ones are Wingman, Sentinel, Havoc, G7, Alternator. So, this is the changes to the Hemlock. Increase the horizontal recoil of the first three shots. Slightly to the right, sorry, just something in my throat. Ugh. First burst when it's... Um, when it's in burst mode, yeah, it makes sense. But I'm, I will always say this. When using the hemlock, always hit on a single burst. That's better. Increasing recall magnitude in her in the later stages of the pattern. Cool. Reducing recall multiplier in single fire mode to help compensate for additional recall and pattern. Okay. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, that, that certainly helps me, to be fair. Reducing headshot multiplayer from... Oh, oh, I liked it. <laughs> for sure, okay. Reducing headshot multiplayer from 2 to 1.7. That means it's going to be... Four, it was 44 damage, and now it's 39 damage. Um, while we are happy to see Hemlock is more uh, ten, attention with the recent buffs, I think it's a little too strong as in Season 6, and the effective range of the burst mode felt a little bit too far. Alright, Havoc. Update recoil pattern. Yay. Fuck you. <laughs> L-star. Please, 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 please be slightly better. L-star has a new recoil pattern that kicks horizontally at first. Alright, well, I'm going to test it out. I'll see what it's like. And then settles into a relatively consistent upward recoil. Players who feather the triggers that will be able to keep the L-Star in the good portion of the recoil pattern. L-Star venting time after letting go of the trigger has been reduced from 0 0.4 to 0 0.15. I like it. L-Star will now reduce the heat faster when not overheated. Yay! From 1.15 seconds from 99% to zero charge if it's not overheated. Still 2.5 seconds if overheated. Okay. I don't know what to say about this because I haven't tested it. I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work for me. We'll see. Um, I I want to test this out. This one is not confusing to read. It's just... It's confusing to not see how it plays. We'll see. Um, the Sentinel... Energy Sentinel now has a pure damage increase instead of a bonus damage only versus shields. Alright. Uh, Energy Sentinel ban damage from 70 to 88. Oof. Oof indeed. Ouch. The Sentinel was a bit weak. Yeah, that is certainly true. The Sentinel was a bit weak. Uh, we think it's a good place to improve. Energy's ability. This may be a bit too powerful. Maybe they're going to decrease it to about like 85 or something. The triple take, hey, is the increase of it's uh, decrease the fire rate. Well, why do you mean to decrease the fire rate? No, oh, I'm using a shotgun still. <laughs> triple take is still performing a bit too well after the most recent nerf. No, it's be it's performing beautifully. <laughs> Leave it alone. So reduce the fire rate back to what it was before six point nine patch. No. Uh, so there's new hop-ups to the game. Uh, quick door host up. So this is the new um, hop-up. This new hop-up attaches to the RE45 and the wingman. Yeah, I knew the wing, uh, the RE45 doesn't have a thing, does he? And real quick, the gun becomes quicker to raise and, and lower. Takes time less to ADS. And reduce hit fire spread. Okay. Okay. Um, particularly when not active, 
actively mo moving. This should open up new opportunities to use the two weapons, especially in close quarters. Combat. We'll see. I'm intrigued. Certainly intrigued. Evo arm has been changed. So you need to do 100 damage for the first thing. I think it should be back to 50. I think this should be 150. I totally agree there, but I think this should go back to 50. 150, 300. Isn't that like this? Oh, it used to be. I'm 100% sure that's how it used to be. God damn it. Ring damage reduced. Uh, hey, I like it. <laughs> it's reduced it. Because we keep dying to the ring, me and a couple of people who've been playing this. <laughs> yeah, well, you, hopefully, if you are watching this video, you know who you are. And my god, that ring sucks at the moment. <laughs> ring 2 is now 3%. Yay, reduced damage. Ring 3, 5% from 10%. That's massively reduced. Yeah, they've reduced this massively. From 5, 10, 10, 15, 15. Okay. Hopefully it's not like in the earlier get days of uh, this where they could literally hide into the circle just keep healing themselves going <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Bug fixes that's all boring shit. But yeah this is everything. There's a lot here to, to truly digest and I've just gone through it and this is how are you? And there's also the um, dev stream that you can watch if you very much are inclined to. This season has a lot going for it. Season 6 wasn't that great. I think a lot of people can say that. This season 6 was a bit mediocre. Season 5 was good. Season 4 was good. Season 6, meh. I know Apex can do better. So hopefully Season 7 can truly become better than what Season 6 was. Well, this is the end of the video. <laughs> it's been fun. Really fun to look through all the trailers. And just uh, see what's happening, what's coming to Season 7. I'd love to know what you think down below. Um... <laughs> Certainly be it will certainly be intriguing. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. And if you enjoy the content I create, it would be a really big help if you could subscribe. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys maybe next time. Bye!